everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Today we are going to draw a flying eyeball. A flying eyeball with bat wings and I'm going to do some slime on mine. And I'm sure you're going to come up with some really cool details to add to yours, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get ready to do this. Ready to go? I got spider webs on my mic. <laughs> Must be Halloween. Okay. Let's get ready to start here. Let's get our pencils ready. I'm going to need your pencil there, buddy, to kick us off. Okay, you ready? You got your pencil? Yep. Okay. So we're going to start off with really light pressure, uh, and we're going to start in the middle of our paper here with a circle real light i'm going to do mine about that big so i have plenty of room for big old bat wings on mine they're going to go out here like that so are you going to have room for wings yep. okay cool just making sure okay and then i'm going to do another circle inside that circle about that big that's gonna be the iris that's the part of the eye that's what? colored okay and then in the middle of that I'm gonna do another circle there's lots of circles yeah here. circles on circles here that's gonna be the black part of the eye which is the pupil and then between right around the line of the pupil I'm gonna do another circle about that big that's gonna be for a little glare on the eye when we start adding some details in now my wings I'm gonna have them attached somewhere in this neighborhood here I'm gonna have them shoot out you call it a neighbor <laughs> yeah uh, it's gonna shoot out up in the air kind of curved up a little bit to about right there and then starting at that point where we stopped I'm gonna come down come out and down and I'm gonna kind of do see I kind of did a obtuse angle there with that okay now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side now this can be tricky when you're doing something like this that's supposed to be symmetrical straight on and you know it, it don't worry about it if you don't get it exactly right I don't get it exactly right all the time but you do your best to look at where the top of your wing ended over here and follow straight over with a straight line so we should be somewhere in this neighborhood when we end our line I know I'm saying that word today for some reason a lot and then the same thing with this where our wing ends the tip here follow a line through it's going to be over here somewhere so i'll do my best to keep them symmetrical but if they're not that's okay because you know what nothing in life is perfectly symmetrical not even your own eyes your own eyes your own hands your feet they all have different uh shapes your 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 if you look at your hands or your feet or your eyes real close, they're not the same size. Did you know that? Mm, I know yeah. my knees are the same size when I put them up like this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, hey, even the knees. Okay. So That's now right I'm going to go I'm going to follow these lines. I'm just going to follow them up. This is just going to add some thickness to them getting a little thinner as we go towards the tip here okay I'll do the same thing on the other side okay now at the top of our uh, wing apex here I'm gonna call it I'm gonna do a little kind of oval My foot almost I'm gonna do that on the top and then I'm going to do a claw coming out of that. Okay. <clears throat> Two claws. Two claws. Ooh. Two claws. Yeah. 
Okay. Now, coming from here, I'm going to basically do the same thing as I did here, but I'm going to have it come down this way. So I'm just going to make a line, give myself a guide. It's going to go like that. Then I'm going to make it taper it down from the top, getting skinnier towards the bottom. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. Only I'm going to do some. I'm going to do a shorter one of these right here, coming out of the same point. Okay, like that. It's basically imagine that like long fingers almost. Okay, and then we're going to come over here. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Down and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that again. We're still working light, we're still working rough, so you know, you can still make mistakes. We're just there. We go. I like it, I think that's close enough for me. So, yeah, I need to come out a little bit. Okay. And then the wings are going to connect at the tips and they're going to arc up in the middle. So they're going to start at the tip there, arc up, and then connect back with the tip of the other. I'm going to call them fingers. Wing fingers. <laughs> we're going to do the same thing and we're going to connect this one back to the main arm. Okay, we're going to do that on these. Working light right now. We're still working light. Light. Look, pressure. he has a furry arm. You give him a furry arm? Oh man. See a furry arm connected onto his wing. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make sure I remember. So I'm gonna rough in some slime dripping off my eye, and basically you just kind of start at the eyeball and get a drop going, it gets skinnier, and then winds back out, comes around, gets larger at the tip there. I did a smiley on my eyeball. You did. I'm gonna do a drip, like so. Maybe another little, I like drawing uh, water, slime, liquid, anything. There's, just no rules there. You can kind of do whatever you want. Okay. So now that I've roughed in my flying eyeball here, and I pretty much know where things are at on this drawing. We have the proportions figured out. We have where it's at on our page figured out, where our slime's gonna be, all that stuff. I'm gonna start pushing down with harder uh, pressure and defining this more with detail so and it's easier to do that once you have this rough draft so I know my, I, well you know what I just remembered one of the things I forgot some veins we gotta add some veins on our eyeball we just do squigglies coming from the outside of the eye towards the middle like that okay let's try it and there's no rules with these either that's the great thing you just kind of go for it just do some squigglies branching off of each other. Do as many as you many or as few as you want. Okay, now that I got that figured out, now I'm gonna start going through with harder pressure. And so I'm gonna start basically just going around the outside of my eye here. Okay. All I'm doing is defining that eyeball now. Coming around. Harder pressure. Now I know where it's at. And you can still kind of be sketching when you're doing this. You know, you can do short strokes because this is all going to get erased. Okay, I'm just going around, darkening my lines. I know that's going to be black I'm in there. I'm making his wings bright. Circles can be tough to draw um, well because. Because it's just a long continuous line and that can be tricky sometimes. 
Mine's so, oval. That's okay. You know, it gives it some character. And then I'm going to do some little lines. Now, I'm going to already start thinking about the light coming from up here down. And so I'm going to do more lines in my iris towards the bottom part of it. And then I'm going to do less lines at the top. So I'm going to definitely go through and be adding some more lines at the bottom there. Now, where it connects to the eyeball, the wing, the arm of the wing here, I'm going to do just a little, I'm going to make it a little wider right there. And now I'm going to follow, now I'm going to follow this up. There. I mean, kind of what we're doing right now is just tracing. It's adding in some extra detail once you know where things are at. You can kind of give it some character. I'm going to do some little hooks on the end of my uh, these fingers of my wings. If you look closely at a bat's wings and how they're, the anatomy of them, essentially what these separators are, are its fingers. Did you know that? Yep. Yep. Going around. And the claw is like its nail. Yeah, exactly. And the claw is like its nail. I did a tail on mine. Wow. I like that idea. And you gave him horns. That's a great idea. I might do that to mine. You're very creative. I love it. Now I'm going to do some chunks out of my wings, some tears. Because, you know. This is this is a rough eyeball. He's uh, he's a scary Halloween eyeball. And there's no rules with those either. Do as many or as little as you want. See, just like that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Coming around back towards the part where it connects. Gonna have it go wider. I made his bed. Did you? Yep. See? See, he has a bed. Man, that's cool. And a moss pillow. And you know, at these bend points, you can add a little bump out if you want. Those are like knuckles on your finger. I didn't really do that as much. did it right there, but um, sometimes you kind of have some afterthoughts as you're drawing. But Okay, and there we go. That one, moving right along here. How's yours going? I think yours is going pretty dang good. Oh, I need some lead. There we go. Okay. Now let's do those, that skin between the, the wings here. Gotta get my tears in there. What do you use for a chair? A walk next to... That's how he uses your, your, your flying eyeball has to sit down sometimes? And he also has a bed. Oh man, he's got to sleep even. How does he sleep if he has no eyelids? I'll tell you. <laughs> we need some horns. I kind of want to do that. I'm going to do a horn on my guy only since I this is an afterthought I'm gonna do light just to make sure I like the shape yep okay and if I do then since I pulled it just white I'm doing it with that. all sweepy eyewood yeah wait like that right there I think is how I'm gonna do mine so I'm gonna throw that in I'm gonna go now with harder pressure up to the point and widens out at the base and then on there I'm gonna do some little lines just to give it some texture a lot of times when you look at horns and things like that they have a bunch of little fine lines in them okay now I am going to throw in my slime and it might look a little different than I originally drew it <clears throat> That's okay. Like I said, with liquid, you know, it really is very 
free. It's a free form. So just go with what you feel. Okay. This guy eats fruit. I did a lot. I got a little bit crazy with my drip action on my slime. Okay. Now. Eat. Now what? I think I I'm liking this. A couple little holes in the wings. But he eats fruit. He has a little fruit basket. Right oh, he eats fruit. He's so he's not not a necessarily a bad guy, huh? Yep. <clears throat> Does that nice one have? Did you give him a little food? smile? Yep. <laughs> I like it. Awesome. Okay, I'm I'm liking this. I'm about ready for ink. What about you? No. You're not. Oh man, I'm about ready. I think I'm gonna have to move on to ink for these guys watching us. Okay, let's move on to ink. Okay, are you ready? Not for minutes. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get my bold pen. Okay, see pen what ready. I added on to the horns. Ooh, what, what do you got going on there? Some lines. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, good. Good detail. Go ahead and get your bold marker ready to go. Whatever it is that you want to use, something bold. We're going to go around the outline of our drawing. All I'm going to do, I'm just tracing at this point. This is my drawing and, and it's ready to go. All it needs is the ink and then we'll erase. So I'm just going to trace the outside lines here of my flying eyeball with my bold marker. So go ahead and grab your bold marker and we're going to do that now. Alrighty, got my drawing outlined. How about you? Not me yet. Just about, you got a lot more going on than I do. I'm gonna get my fine tip marker out and start doing some of my details here. Is that okay with you? Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay guys, go ahead and get your fine tip. I'm just gonna go through and trace over uh, my interior pencil lines here and um, then we'll move on to some final details and coloring from there. So go ahead and get your fine tip out and trace the inside details of your drawing. I'm going to do that now. Okay, alrighty, I've got my interior lines, pencil lines all traced with fine tip. I went ahead and left out the veins in the eyes because I'm going to actually go through and, and do those when I color with a red marker. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to end up erasing those and just adding them back in when I color. I just think it'll look a little bit better. So you can do the same thing if you want or if you like the look you can um, ink them in. Uh, I am going to go ahead and color the pupil black with my bold marker now, so that. go ahead and do that. And then what we're going to do is erase now that we've got our pencil lines traced. So go ahead and get your erasers and we're going to erase the pencil lines that we used to get us this far. And I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Deepest 
tiny. All erased. Now I'm going to take my fine tip. I'm going to go through. I'm going to add some hatch marks where I want some shadows to be. And I'm going to do that like up here in the corners of the wing where the skin is thicker and the light doesn't shine through as well. I'm going to have it kind of go like that in each segment. I also did a little seal the light. What did you do? A little light. You did a light in his room? Mm -hmm. He had a pretty cool room for a flying eyeball. He just lives there. So at this point, I'm going to go. His room is like where he lives. Oh, okay. He just has a bedroom with all the stuff he needs. Flying eyeball with a bedroom, you know? Why not? Okay, so I'm just going to go through and do this now on my drawing. I'm going to do it underneath the eyeball and just add some uh, texture lines here and there in some places. Uh, go ahead and do that now and we will color after this. Okay, that's it for me. I'm all inked up. I'm ready to color. You gonna be ready to color? Don't forget to sign your drawing. I'm gonna throw my signature. Oh, I don't know. Maybe right here. And make sure you date it. What's today? The 19th. Wow. It's just moving right along. Okay, everybody. I think we're ready to color. Let's do that. Mm. He sleeps with his eye open? Yep. <laughs> I don't think he has much choice, does he? All right, let's show everybody our, our drawing here. Oh, man. Love it. Yours is great. What all is going on there? Does he have a, he looks like what? He's, so he's got an Xbox, huh? And he's going to eat a banana. He's going to eat a banana. He's and got some toy cars. What else? He has little iPad and an Xbox control right there and the and the inside of that he keeps his strawberries and very nuts. So he likes fruit and nuts and video games, huh? Yep. You have an interesting flying eyeball, I'd like to get to know him. <laughs> All right. where he lives in the forest. He lives in the forest. Perfect. All right, everybody. Uh, we hope you had fun drawing this flying eyeball with us today. We're going to go ahead and color our drawings now. We'd love to see yours. Share them with us on Instagram. Tag at WildStyleKids. Hashtag at WildStyleKids. And we'll share it with our friends on there. So that pretty much does it, huh? Okay. We're going to start coloring. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.